Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Nolly. Welcome to a new vlog and it is just so weird to be vlogging right now because the last vlog I made was my recovery vlog so you guys saw me crying and just like feeling like shit so <laughs> comparing me right now and me during recovery it's like night and day so sorry you had to see that but I definitely wanted to be super real with you know the whole breast reduction and I hope you guys enjoyed that vlog and thank you guys for supporting that decision but today is a start of a new vlog and a start of my new life honestly with my small boobs <laughs> I put on my set active one shoulder bra you guys know this is like one of my favorite bras to wear and honestly I was like how the heck did my big boobs fit in this because like I'm just like it fits so perfectly with my small boobs I guess they were just like smashed but I just thought that was kind of funny happy fall it is October 1st and this weekend is actually the start of ACL if you guys aren't in Austin or don't know it is Austin city limits the music festival and I'm actually going to weekend two and I've never gone to a music festival before so I'm a little bit nervous for that but I know it's gonna be so much fun I've always wanted to go to a music festival but I just like never I never built up the courage to like actually buy tickets, but I told myself after COVID I'm saying yes to a lot more. So we're going to ACL next weekend and I still have no idea what I'm going to wear. I'm going to see what people wear this weekend and kind of get inspo from that. But other than that, I feel like I'm just going to wear like a tank top shorts and like comfortable shoes. Like I don't really care to look like too cute, but we'll see that could probably change. But I do have a really exciting package downstairs. I have been eyeing these freaking shoes for so long now. The first influencer I saw wearing these shoes was Kenzie Elizabeth. I started listening to her podcast recently and I forgot that she like moved to Dallas so I started watching her videos again so I stan her and I especially stan these shoes. They're not the cheapest shoes so I kind of was hesitating buying them and then I saw another Instagram influencer, Mary Ralph, wearing them and I was like, all right, I'm getting the shoes. This is a sign I need these shoes. So I got them and they're downstairs and I'm gonna show you guys what they look like. I'm so freaking excited. Also, I got an awesome Manny Petty this morning. Look at these nails. They're so fun. I kind of want to just like do something fun for ACL, even though I'm going next weekend. I literally just need my nails done. Um, and these are my real nails. I just did gel and then I just got my toes painted white. So new pedicure for my new shoes. Perfect timing. Okay, let me go get the package. We got the package. It is time. Oh my God. I got the free Burks. These are Birkenstocks. These are in the color, wait, what the fuck? That's weird. That's really weird. I'm confused. It doesn't even like say Birkenstocks. What the hell brand is that? I mean, I'm so confused. I literally bought them on Birkenstock.com, but weird. I mean, I don't really care, but that's just so weird. Anyways. These are my new shoes and I'm literally going to be living in them. Okay, let's do a comfort test. One is on my foot and I was just thinking, I feel like my feet are gonna sweat in these <laughs> in the summer because it's still summer here in Austin, honestly. I mean, in the mornings, they're really nice and they're like fall mornings, but yeah, I feel like my feet are gonna definitely sweat in these. So I'm gonna have to wait to wear these. They look gigantic. Let's see if I can do this. Ugh. Oh my god. Oh my god. I love them. Little life update because I feel like I just haven't vlogged in so long. The recovery vlog didn't count because that wasn't me. That was like Patricia. I don't even know. But I am like so stressed. Like it is crazy because this whole month I took off like photography and videography, like freelance at least because obviously I still need to like recover and I'm not really supposed to be picking up anything that's like kind of like heavy and I didn't want to like, you know, raise my hands too high for photo shoots and I don't know, I don't want to be pushing that. So I'm giving myself this whole month off, but when November comes around and December, it is going to be freaking crazy because November is the start of like December grad shoots. And then I go home for Thanksgiving and my birthday. My birthday is on November 25th this year, which is Thanksgiving. And I'm also turning 25, so it's my golden birthday. So it shall be interesting. I don't really know what I'm gonna do for my birthday, but like I always dreamed of doing something so crazy big for my 
you know, golden birthday. But I don't, like, I don't know what to do. And, like, I also, I don't know. Birthdays honestly make me a little uncomfortable. Like, I love birthdays for everyone else. And, like, I do like my birthday, but also sometimes, like, I feel like I hype it up too much in my head. And then I honestly just get free Starbucks and then sit around my house all day. Like, I don't really do anything that crazy. Um, and then I just feel like it's such a burden around the time of my birthday because it's like a holiday and like no one's in town or I'm at home. Do I celebrate my birthday here earlier or later? It's just like an awkward kind of thing. So I'm going to figure that out. But anyways, then straight from Atlanta, I go to Baton Rouge for my job, a work trip. Straight from that work trip, I go to my friend Sam's wedding in Tampa. Then straight from the wedding, I go to Nashville for my work conference. And then I come home, I think... I think we decided that we're gonna come home to Austin, chill for a week, go back to Atlanta for Christmas. Yeah, so I'm just getting a little stressed, like thinking about the future, which sucks, because I feel like I should just be enjoying the now. But good news is that I booked a beach trip and I'm going to um, Rosemary Beach. If you guys have been watching my vlog since last year, you guys would know that my dad had a house in rosemary beach he sold that house and we were all so sad but then he actually just purchased another one it's smaller but it's right on the water like literally a view of the ocean the pictures he showed me are unreal so we're finally getting to go and we're going like the 15th like honestly two weeks at the beach and i'm so excited about it and now i feel like i need to get some beach outfits or like at least a few cute new outfits i actually just made my first purchase on glaissons i think that's how you pronounce it i think it's like more either uk based or australian based but i saw a tiktok of this girl saying that there was a really good dupe for an aritzia shirt and it was actually a shirt that i had been looking at at aritzia and it's this one it's like a crisscross ribbed tank top and it's literally so thick and such good quality i'm gonna link it i kind of want to show you guys everything i got from gloss ons because i got some good stuff so i'm just gonna show you right now okay i really don't have the energy to like try it all on just because this whole situation is still really stiff i still have to like take care of my scars and all of that freaking stuff um so yeah i don't really want to do a try on haul right now this room gets so sunny so I'm gonna lower the brightness, but first top, hopefully now you can see that it's like this ribbed texture and it is so cute. I love it. Okay, and then we got a long sleeve ribbed top. A lot of the stuff I got from Gloss Ons is ribbed. And honestly, that is like my favorite material right now. And it's gonna be perfect for the fall. Okay, this is not as thick and supportive as I would have hoped, but it's still really cute, little crop top. And then we have these, which also remind me of Aritzia little um, bralette tank tops. Not as thick, but still pretty thick. Still ribbed, little brown moment. I got it in a couple other colors. White, same, same old crop top thing. And then this, stone color i also got this basic cropped white t-shirt and it's like like a scuba material i don't know it feels really nice like the quality of this place is amazing and their prices that's like what made me want to purchase from them it is so insanely affordable like compared to aritzia and all of that i also got a puffer from them it's like a little white puffer vest i feel like this is gonna be very cute I think this is probably the most expensive thing I bought. It was like 70 bucks, but I really wanted it. And then I haven't tried these on yet, but I'm really hoping that they fit. I got a size 10, but I've been looking for these kind of like dress shorts for so long now, and they are beautiful. Like the quality is unmatched. I cannot believe it. I really hope these fit. I got those clothes before I knew I was going to the beach, so probably would have bought something more like beachy and stuff. But I feel like when we go to the beach, it's gonna be a lot more chill this time. I'll link below last year's Rosemary Beach vlogs because they were so fun and we tried so many good places. And Alice Beach is just like 
a mile down the road or maybe two miles i can't remember and i feel like alice beach has popped off during the last like two years i feel like everyone's gone there so definitely go check those vlogs out they're so visually pleasing and i literally just cannot wait to go back to the beach because last year's weather around this time was perfect also in the post-op instructions i'm not supposed to like submerge my boobs underwater for like three weeks after surgery and it's gonna be like exactly three weeks when i go to the beach so i'll be able to swim which is really exciting i totally forgot the elephant in the room i got a new couch it finally arrived i literally bought it in june and it just got here this wednesday this whole room feels like so much more complete and i kind of like rearranged it so let me show you guys it is honestly so messy in here so just do not mind that but the dust used to be on the window and it just like lets so much more light in now that it's all the way open but here is the couch it is the west elm harmony module sleeper sofa so it's actually a pull-out couch there's a bed in there queen sized and i am loving it it is the whitest piece of furniture i have ever bought so shall be interesting i need to buy like scotch guard and spray that shit on there real quick when it was getting delivered they tried to fit it in the elevator and it didn't fit which was really annoying and i felt really bad but they brought it up the stairs and the only way they could bring it up the stairs was to take the packaging all off of it so the white couch was just like in the dirty stairwell and it got bumped on like the walls and the banisters and it honestly got so freaking dirty um but ryan like scrubbed it with resolve and it came off like it it's pretty white now but it was so bad they said i could keep this one and like ask for a replacement but first of all that would have taken forever and second of all then we would have just ran into the same issue so i was like okay i'm just gonna clean this one but yeah that's kind of annoying i wish my apartment had like a service elevator or just like a larger elevator i don't know why they don't but i'm glad i finally have my couch because now we can have guests over ryan's brother and his girlfriend are actually coming like right after we get back from the beach i think the day that we get back from the beach so like for halloween and so they'll be our first guests using the mattress so hopefully it's comfy since we're going to the beach this month i told ryan we should try to eat at home as much as possible which is really hard for us because austin has so much good food and there's still so many places on my bucket list and like that is like what i look forward to on the weekends is like going to try new places i feel like we'll feel more rewarded if we're like spending our money on vacation kind of thing so we're gonna try to eat at home knowing him he'll just guilt me into getting like chick-fil-a or something like fast i just feel like we have so much random food from like trader joe's and stuff that we just got recently i actually got margarita glasses and i've been like having this weird obsession with margaritas if you guys live in austin my favorite margarita is at garrow's on south congress and it is like the frozen raspberry margarita you have to get frozen there their house margarita is actually so shitty but the frozen raspberry margarita is so good so i think that's what got me liking margaritas and then we went to atx cocina and those were so good so i have this bag of limes and i'm like okay i really want to like use my glasses because i haven't really made like a cocktail um in those glasses yet so i was thinking i could just like Go ahead and juice these limes. I'm not sure how old these are, but I think we have to get Grand Marnier. I think, or is that what goes in? I don't. I don't even know. I need to look up what an actual margarita consists of because I know it's not just lime juice and tequila. Last night, Ryan and I just started watching White Lotus. It's like a crime show. Not a crime show like a suspenseful show, I guess. But of course I fell asleep watching it, so I don't even know what happened um, in the second episode. But like, I really wanna find more shows with just like cliffhangers in general. If you guys have any recommendations, let me know. We really liked the show Undoing. That was like kind of like a cliffhanger thing. Um, I'm trying to think what other shows we like. Dirty John was really good too. Just like all those kind of shows. Honestly, anything with a cliffhanger, those are my favorite kind of shows. And and like more on the girly side, if that makes sense. I was telling him yesterday that I feel like I'm just more excited in life in general if I have an actual show to watch. Right now, like Bachelor in Paradise is on. I honestly only watch the Bachelor franchise so that I can know what everyone else is talking about. It's not like amazing, but you know, you just kind of have to stay in the know. Today was laundry day, so exciting. I used to do Ryan's laundry, like when I first moved to Austin, I didn't have a job and Ryan did. 
And so I was like, I will do the laundry, I will do everything. And that really messed things up because when I started getting a job, then he was like, oh, can you do my laundry? And I was like, you're crazy. So I'm just doing his socks, but I put all of his stuff over there. Like I just separated it out and put my stuff away. So we decided to make pasta tonight, like a vodka pasta, um, but I wanted to make margaritas and I feel like wine would go better with the pasta than margaritas, you know? So now I'm, now I'm sad because we ha actually have a bottle of wine that we opened last night that I didn't really like because it was just like, I don't know, it was red wine and I don't really like red wine, first of all, but we weren't really eating it with anything. But like if I ate it with pasta, I feel like I would have liked it a little bit better. So maybe we'll save the margaritas for another night, but like I was really excited to make margaritas. I don't know, we'll see. He's at H-E-B. I told him to get obviously the pasta stuff and then um, like triple sec. I thought we bought triple sec or something a while ago, but I could not find it. So I told him to buy that for the margaritas and yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on what we decided to do. Ryan just told me to start boiling the water. So I'm gonna find the pan. Good job, team. Sorry. Ryan's home. He bought the pasta. He couldn't find triple sec though. I guess I forgot that we have like a buttload of margarita mix in our house, so I didn't really need to squeeze that lime, but whatever. Maybe it'll be a good addition, but I wanted to show you guys my margarita glasses. Very simple. There's nothing like crazy about them, but I personally think they're so beautiful. They're like hand-blown glasses. I actually bought them off Etsy, but I found literally the same exact thing on, was it West Elm? For like $20 cheaper for four glasses, so it was like 40 something, but I bought them on Etsy for like 60 something. I will link both versions below in case you wanna, you know, support a small business. I think they're so freaking pretty and they're just like a very versatile glass. Like I'll, honestly, I'll use these every day, but you can like make really cute cocktails, rim it really nicely and make it pretty. So I love them. And I'm gonna wait till Ryan gets out of the shower so he can like make the margaritas. I feel like he's better at that, but we got the pasta boiling over here and he got this vodka sauce and I just got basil so we can throw that in there too. Margarita making time. Fresh lime juice. You're welcome. Nice. It's gonna be my first real drink, right? Yeah. After surgery. Ha ha ha. I'm not supposed to drink until Monday, honestly. But, you know. Oh well. This is lemon juice. Lemon juice? You're gonna be the guinea pig. Sugar and salt in there. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah, I do agave, babe. I have it in the pantry. Don't say that here. No, I swear, in another one it does to sweeten it. It's like honey. It's like sugar. Anyways. Just try it. ATB organic. The best margarita mix. <laughs> we'll put more agave on top for you. <laughs> I don't think I've Where even it? opened it. No, it's in the sauces. Sauces near honey. Nope. Babe, that's the baking. That's the sauces, okay? All, all right, you're you you're getting closer. Yep, it's in the back. It's, yep, you got it. Nice job. You know what? Shut up. Yes, we have two agaves. <laughs> Oops. Is there an Probably one? unopened. <laughs> I asked Ryan to get like some ginger when he was at the grocery store, so I just peeled this little block. So I had the idea of putting the ginger in my margaritas. So can you pass me the uh, lime juice? <coughs> or for work. Ew, is it strong? Or is it sour? <laughs> Ew. More sour thing. I don't, want, I don't want it to be strong. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try to match this ginger. I don't know if this is really gonna work. <laughs> you need a slice from here. Yeah, that would've been better. Well, it's kind of getting mashed. This is probably not the smartest idea. I'm sorry if you guys are watching me and you're a bartender. Just, just don't mind me, okay? So lime juice and then what? 
Um, tequila. You didn't burn, you didn't burn ice on it. You didn't salt rim. Ah! I didn't do the salt rim. Yeah, I'm just gonna switch on the glass. Nice. I'm filling up. There we go. Okay, what else? Agave. Oh wait, yeah. I didn't do tequila yet. <laughs> it's like literally almost I think full. So. I don't need much tequila. I want it to be super strong. It's better. It's good. Mm. I was telling Ryan that I feel like we should be like going out on the town because I heard there's like ACL after parties or something. But I don't know. I don't really want to go out. I just feel like I should be going out, you know? Just like two sour, yeah. I can't really taste the ginger to be honest with you guys. And I got to use my new cute margarita glasses. The glass is so like runny. Okay, cheers.